um, happy Jamie Bell Adventure Playground Build Day. Yes. And Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and it would not have happened without you. I could, I can, I can, I'm going to say that. Well, thank you. And you are? I am Sarah Doucette, the city councillor for Ward 13, and we're lucky to have High Park in Ward 13. Um, now, this is sort of a mixed blessing today. No one had ever dreamed, would have hoped, would have wished for the reason of why we're here, which is? March the 17th, we had a fire. Uh, someone deliberately set fire to our largest castle. On St. Patrick's Day. On St. Patrick's Day. Our largest castle was destroyed, so we had to have it removed for safety reasons. And from that day, I was down here on the Saturday morning, looking around, talking to people, and it was simple. We're going to rebuild. When? Well, that's another story. We knew it would cost money to rebuild this playground. We knew we needed volunteers to rebuild this playground. Today, people have come together in three and a half months. Within 24 hours, Canadian Tire was on board, Lowe's was on board shortly, TD was on board, Spot Family Foundation was on board, residents were on board, volunteering time and money. We've had other companies who've provided the beautiful roofs, and we're now just putting flags up. I mean, it's stunning. And then in May, Mike Holmes came on board. He contacted my office and said, do you want help? Well, what am I going to say? Yes! He brought Janet Rosenberg on board, who's our landscape architect, who I've actually worked with in, a, in another project. And everyone's just come together. And she, her name is not well known, but people do know her work. So her maybe... work is brilliant. So Janet Rosenberg, she is a landscape architect. She has her own business. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is going. Uh, she's great. She's working with me on a Traymore Park. Um, she's working on some other... She works with developers sometimes as well. Very, very good. Very nice designs. So she and Mike came up with the community consultation. So we did a community consultation. I've been gathering input since the day of the fire. What do people want? We wanted a castle back. It could be bigger, it could be better, but we wanted our castle back. So that's what we've got. We've got a design of a castle, bigger, better, uh, more visibility. There's bigger windows, bigger doorways for parents to get in and out if you need to. Kids don't want you, but if you need to. The slides, they're all coming out of the south side now, whereas they were the north side before, which meant you didn't always see a kid coming out. We're going to be putting in benches. You can't see them today because they're not here yet. So what we've done today is we wanted the community to be involved. They designed and built this playground in 1998. They wanted to be involved. Slightly different build than last time round. I appreciate that. The safety rules, union rules have changed. But they're fantastic. They're out here. They're painting. We're doing a mural. While we stand here, the mural's being painted. We've moved a ton of wood chips, the wood chips of a safety surface. Without the safety surface, we're not gonna get approved for safety. Sad part is it won't be finished today because of a heat wave. We didn't anticipate a heat wave. We never do. We expected, Climate change. We expected rain, um, the supplies not showing up on time. The last two days, these guys and girls have been working so hard in such extreme heat our concern was for their and safety. And a few of them actually did need some... We did, we did need to remove some from the site because it was just too hot. Firefighters have been here the last two days providing their cooling chairs, water sprinklers. Um, they've actually been cutting all the shields. We got these wooden shields which people are allowed to paint. I have to go do one in a minute. I have to have mine up there. Um, but they've been here helping. You know, the police are here, EMS is here. I, um, Canadian Tire and Lowe's and City Partnership together with Mike. This is a big event. We've got entertainment for kids, face painting, barbecues, refreshments. Uh, it's, you don't have to be working to have fun here today. But everyone seems to say, what can I do? What can I do? It's been fantastic. And sometimes it kind of seems the only thing people were doing was moving the chips, the wood chips. And some people then, there was a lot of volunteers. Yeah. And there are still a yes. lot of volunteers yes. here. Yes. Um, and it seems that there is more that they wanted to do, but yeah. they weren't quite able to... Well, as I say, they can't go on a construction site. They're not allowed for safety reasons. The, the site would actually be shut down if we allow people on without the steel toe boots and the hard hat. So we have to respect that. Because of the rain, we weren't able to do quite the painting we wanted to do because the wood's wet. You can't paint wet wood. Um, but this is why we've got the kids and adults painting the plaques. Um, you know, maybe later on this week, when everything's done, we need some people to come and help us move the mulch for a little bit further. So all the wood chips, which we couldn't put in place today, they've piled them much nearer the end of a site where we need them. Maybe I'll be putting a call out saying, hey, you know, just come and help us. Bring some tarps, bring your strength again. 
weather, you can't help it. So we couldn't do everything we wanted. If the, if the structure itself was further along, we'd be doing stuff on that. We'd be helping to paint that as well today. So, you know. There's a bit of uh, the word of the day would be balance, perhaps. Balance. Safety is number one. We want this built right. Mike won't let it be built any other way. We need the people to build it, and we also want them to stay so safe and healthy. Uh, and, and right on that question, uh, or that point, mm -hmm. uh, will be maybe my only remaining question. Yes. There are parks that are losing their waiting pools and across the city, and there are questions of economic uncertainty yes. in the wider world. Yes. There's, there's uh, legitimate concerns about money. Yeah. So one had to reach out to the corporate sector, and one had to maybe ask one question. If we did not rebuild this, mm -hmm. What would the city lose? See, we didn't reach out to the corporations. They came to us. I stood here on that morning tweeting out, shock, anger, we have a fire. They came to us. They knew that they wanted to be involved with this unique playground. Um, I have playgrounds which need rebuilding because these structures are old. They haven't had a fire. They are on waiting lists to be built. But this is a very unique one. Not every day do corporations step forward to offer to help. You're going to take them up on their offer. You're going to fit in the best you can. You know, we have different competitors working together here. Yes. Which is absolutely fantastic. But that's what this is about. This isn't about whether you work for this company or that company. It's coming together to rebuild an amazing playground. The city wouldn't have suffered if we hadn't rebuilt. It's the people who would have suffered, the right. children, the families, the people who come from all across the GTA. They're the ones who are going Even to suffer. Even Ontario. Ontario, exactly. I've had people in from Brampton today helping us rebuild. It's the people who would have suffered. And we didn't want to sit and look at a partial burnt playground for the summer. So I said to City, I said, come on guys, we're going to build this by the city, by the summertime. They sort of went, oh, okay, council. And I said, no, seriously, we're going to. And the city staff have been brilliant as well. They have gone out of their way to help us get to where we are today. As I say, three and a half months since the fire. And we're rebuilding. Just a little bit over 100 days. Exactly. And here we are. Exactly. Not much time at all. And it's great. It really is. Well, in a few hours, uh, or a few minutes perhaps, we'll be cutting a cake. We're at five o'clock, we're going to be doing speeches, cutting a ribbon, cutting a cake. Um, Mike's team will be back next week to finish off. We need some safety features still on the, on the castle. We're not letting anyone on until it's safe. I know people won't like me for that, but safety is number one. Well, and I think actually Mike probably wouldn't even let me on it if it's not safe. So, so the ribbon have, cutting is today or next ribbon week? Ribbon cutting is today. Cake cutting is today. Speeches are today at five o'clock. Okay. So the fun stuff is next week. The getting back and playing on it next week. You're right. All right. Well, Councillor Sarah Doucette, on behalf of everyone watching this on YouTube and elsewhere, <laughs> I'm just going to say thank you. And we are speechless. Well, thank you to a community who's come out. You know, one councillor can't do this on their own. They really can't. So thank you.